Hi guys, welcome to Barrel Racer Life. My name is Maddie Kempf. I am really freaking excited to share with you about how this weekend went because I'm still on cloud nine. I still can't believe how awesome my horses worked for me. I'm just feeling extremely grateful um, and just really lucky to get to be their jockey. You know, it's cool when hard work starts to pay off because seriously sometimes these horses will test your patience and test you whether you really want to do the sport at all but then there's just sometimes where things line up and it all comes together and this was one of those weekends so I'm really excited to share with you guys all about it are you ready huh You can see here there's a long alleyway to go to the entrance of the arena and this is the little warm-up area if you can't get in the arena. And just like that, heading home. Claude made a really nice run this morning. Um, the only thing I could pick apart about is we sort of bubbled off the third barrel a bit, which cost us some time, but he was a 17.9, which is placing us fifth place right now. There's still another performance to go this afternoon, and I know there's some tough girls up, so we'll just kind of have to see, but it was a big slack and a perf yesterday, so to be fifth after that is kind of cool. Um, I'm really happy with him. He did freaking awesome. Um, so yeah, we're going to head home now. It's the 4th of July today. We're going to have a um, visit with some friends and go to a barbecue, and then tomorrow we'll be leaving for Oregon. Oregon. Don't mind me glistening. Jada just ran a 17.3 on a standard. Oh my God, okay, I have no words. I'm so freaking excited. That's the fastest I've, I've ever been on any horse on a standard and her personal best. Oh my God, she did amazing. Did you do good, Zeta? You did? Did you do dirt? You want treats? Cheer team spitting on the ground and stuff. Are you still in your dad's seat? What are you gonna do when he comes back? Are you gonna drive us? Is that your dad? It's been a hard day for boys, so so sleepy. 
All right, so at day one of the barrel race, uh, Jada ended up splitting, or she won third place in the 1D. Claude was 12th in the 1D, which didn't pay, but Jada won about $800, and we were right behind Fallon Taylor and Baby Flow, which was so cool. Um, the other thing, Fallon Taylor was actually in the same drag as me, so she ran right ahead of me and then stayed, watched my run, wished me good luck as I went in the gate, and as my horse hesitated a little to go in, she asked if I needed any help and was very kind, and it's just cool that someone who has such a big following and is a world champion and all that. It was just very down to earth and kind. I have met her one time before. What a cool girl. Uh, it was really neat to actually get to watch Baby Flo run in person and especially in the same drag. So um, also pretty cool that Jada also ran a time right close with her. So even more awesome. But yeah, I'm over the moon with how Jada worked on day one. Tired of food this morning. Well, things worked out really well for Jada again on day two. She ended up sixth in the 1D. Claude and I had um, a little bit of a slower run, but he still ended up placing in the 2D, so I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, also, it was a really, really good day in Barrel Racer land. Third run on Miss Jada today. She was a bit wild. <laughs> uh, sometimes three days in a row is just hard on them. And yeah, going in the gate, I could feel her like, I'm ready, I'm crazy. I'm like, oh boy. So whatever. Uh, she was still an 18 0, but we were 17 3 the first day, 17 5 yesterday, which are two fastest runs we've had together on a standard. So I'm still blown away. She's done awesome. So pretty freaking happy with her this weekend. Be thinking about it. Four people on the next day. Woo! So on the last day, Claude and I struggled a little bit. Um, he started to kind of get a little bit short on me going into his turns on day three of running, day two at the Strobel's race, but the Sunday was the fourth day in a row that he'd made a barrel racing run. And, you know, I ran at Cedar Woolly Rodeo and then three days in the same location. So it was a lot for him. So I really can't blame him. He kind of started to get short on me. I did what I could just to get him by all the barrels because um, it is an average there and I really just wanted to have a clean run more than anything. So we're just gonna have some practice to work on things a bit this week. Um, but I think he handled running four days in a row really, really well. And he 
actually ended up placing us fourth in the 2D average and he won us a really nice breast collar. So that was really cool. Jada ended up 10th in the 1D average. They gave prizes down to eighth, but she ended up 10th in the 1D average out of, like I said before, over 200 entries. So I'm over the moon with the both of them. They did really, really well. And it was a really fun weekend at Strobel's race. My foot is getting so big. And who asked you? Poet, he's a grown up. Look at you. All right, well, there's some exciting things coming this week. So those of you that know about Level Up Apparel, you've got to keep an eye on the Facebook page for this Friday because I have some really exciting news coming. Um, I've been doing a collaboration with someone and we have a really, really amazing new product and you're going to lose your mind. It is so cool. It turned out even better than I imagined. So I'm really excited. That will be coming Friday. So keep an eye on the Level Up Apparel Facebook page for all the updates on that. Um, then this weekend, I haven't decided where we're going to go yet if I'm in a barrel race or where. Um, there's a few jackpots going on, but no rodeos. So we'll just kind of see how the week progresses. Uh, but I had such a great weekend. The horses did so well for me. I'm just, again, over the moon, so freaking excited. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is that I've kind of am trying to find the balance of taking videos on my weekends and behind the scenes and doing all that to still show everybody, you know, the arenas we get to go to, what the warm-up pens are like, uh, what I do behind the scenes, that kind of thing. But there's this balance of living and enjoying the company of my friends and of Cody and my horses um, and not having my phone in my hand the whole time. So I'm trying to find that balance. So you'll notice that some of my videos lately, I think I have a little bit less of the behind the scenes clips and stuff like that. And that's why. Um, so, you know, I understand that you, a lot of you guys go, oh, we want to see you brushing your horses and we want to see this and that. But it's just, you know, finding that balance of living um, and also still being able to show what it's like to be a barrel racer and what we do and all that. So kind of trying to find the balance. But the other thing I'd like to ask, what are your favorite parts about my videos and what would you like to see more of? And you know, what would you suggest that I would change? So write in the comments and give me some feedback because I love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And if you guys are enjoying these videos, please subscribe to my channel.